The coolest part about my job is I get to draw for a living. A medical illustrator is someone who creates visuals of, of health and medicine and, and science in order to help, help researchers, help doctors, and really to help everyone understand their own health a little better. Whatever topic we're working with, we would research thoroughly, find out um, everything about it. We would speak with the doctors or researchers, uh, and then it would really be uh, working together, come up with sketches based on the research, and then uh, I would create these visuals for them, um, starting by hand, and then eventually it does go on the computer and everything's digital. Once I have a sketch ready that uh, I've finalized with the, the people I'm working for or working with, uh, it gets scanned into the computer and um, I use programs such as Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. Um, it's, it takes quite a bit of time. First I, I create uh, many, many layers in Illustrator. I um, outline every, everything there and also add color. And then in Adobe Photoshop, uh, that's when I really would add the finishing details and the, and the shading and make it look three-dimensional. I've worked with surgeons in the past who developed new surgical techniques and uh, I would I'd go in with them, observe, do sketches and then create illustrations for them. Patient education is another great area that medical illustrators work in in helping to explain a health condition to patients and also the treatments that are available to them and, and how they might work in the body. Medical illustration is very helpful because it really gives uh, people an opportunity to understand their own health better. Uh, having a picture, having something very clear that they can look at is, is always great to go along with a verbal description or a written description. It's another way for people to learn and to really understand what's going on in their own body. To become a medical illustrator, if you're interested in this career, you would need uh, a good grounding in the general sciences, an undergraduate degree in, in science, um, be familiar with the technology, you know, be able to use the, the programs to do the digital drawing, and as well, it'd be very important to have math throughout, not only to get into your undergraduate degree, but also as a, as a business person to be able to run your business properly. My advice would be to explore all your options before you decide on a career. You, you can combine more than one field of study. You can do arts, you can do science, and combine it into one amazing career.